The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover, and when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. On this feast of the Holy Family, I wish to speak about our families and consecration. Consecration. It's one of those religion words and we sort of know what it means. It's really very simple. To consecrate something or to consecrate someone means to hand them over to God to entrust them to the Lord, to offer them to the Lord. We use words like this and offering many times at our Mass. Once you start to listen to them, it's impressive how many times we use them. And today on this Feast of the Holy Family, I want to invite each and every one of us to think about someone in our family and to decide today that in our heart and in our prayers, we will consecrate them to God. What does that mean? Well, it goes back to what we believe, the heart of all that we believe. We believe two things. We believe, first of all, that everything comes from God. Everyone, every one of our family members is a gift from God. Some of them are more obviously a gift from God. And some of us, we have to believe with great faith. And yet every single member of our families, our children, our grandchildren, our parents, our brothers and sisters, every one of them is a gift from God. And you might say, all right, Father, but so what? Oh, what a difference. What a difference it makes as we go through the trials and the struggles and every family has trials and struggles. I've just passed the 39,000 mark for hearing confessions. And when you hear 39,000 confessions, you learn that every family has a cross or two. And you know the ones that have the most crosses? The ones that pretend to be perfect. Every one of our families has struggles and challenges. And today on this great feast of the Holy Family, let's begin by believing that our children, our parents, all of them, they are a gift, a gift for us. And we believe as Catholics not only that everything comes from God, but that everything returns to God. And that all of our family members are meant to be with the Lord forever in heaven. We're meant to have a family not just here for a few short years on earth. We're meant to be together forever. And today, I encourage you to think of one member of your family 
who might seem so far from God, so far from the church, so far from the road to heaven, and to decide that this year, between today and next year's Holy Family Feast Day, we will pray for them and pray for them and do what consecration means. We will offer them to God. St. Peter says in his first epistle something very beautiful. He says, cast your cares to the Lord because he cares for you. Did you get that? Cast your cares unto the Lord because he cares for you. Let's do the same with our family members. Let us offer them to God, praying for them, praying for them, praying to the Blessed Mother, who, of course, is a real mother, and every real mother here knows that a mother never forgets her children. A mother will love and fight with love on behalf of her children. Let's offer our family members to God and ask that the angels and the saints would protect them, the Blessed Mother would care for them, that Jesus himself would save them. And then maybe one year from now, when we gather here again for a holy family, we'll see some miracles, beautiful miracles that we never expected. Wayward hearts coming home, angry family members being touched by the peace of Jesus Christ. Trust the Lord with your family. Consecrate them today and ask Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the Holy Family, to bring your family together and together forever in heaven.